What up, Loggy? We are in the car again. In the car again. Woo, 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 woo. Um, this morning we're gonna go diving. We haven't been diving in a while, I feel like. Like at least a week. Yeah. And I don't know when the last time we vlogged it is because we've been vlogging yeah. like some different stuff lately. We'd be diving less. You don't even want to go, so don't even blame me. I don't want to go diving. You haven't asked me. I kind of want to go spear fishing. I've been busy. I don't know what I've been doing, but I've been busy. Well, last week, I feel like... I surfed a lot. And we had a lot, like... I don't know. We have been busy, though. Yeah. Oh, we've had uh, painters at our house. Yeah, and we've been working week. on the house. Like, I had to install shelves yesterday. Brittany helped. It was great. Um, so, we got the baby's closet done. Maybe Britt could do a baby room. No, we're waiting to show them the vlog, the baby room, until the final nursery... Uh, okay. reveal when okay. it's all done which will be in probably pretty shortly because the last piece of furniture has shipped yeah and the way this company ships the furniture it gets here pretty quick so it should be here within like two weeks so probably after shane's fiji trip the nursery will be done is my guess yeah and all the stuff is like pretty quick to build and i don't know if we've talked about the fiji trip yet so by the way i'm going to fiji i technically signed an nda about it so oh. i don't know when i'm supposed to start talking about it but, but they said to post yeah, they did. You need just okay, on your Of course, story. the sun is out now. So I told awful. you. Um, I gotta do it down here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to Fiji with GoPro. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be like a huge thing. He's going on an influencer trip. It's so cool. Yeah. They sent him like a whole suitcase with like goodies yeah. in it and stuff. Um, and I'm not going in case you're wondering because the dates that they picked for the trip are like really horrible for the flights that match up from Hawaii to Fiji, which the flight from here is really short, but they picked like random dates that the direct flight doesn't match up with. So, and when you fly to Fiji, it takes like two days to get there. So I would miss like essentially the entire trip if I took the direct flight. And then what Shane has to do, his flight is 19 hours instead of, it could be seven or yeah, seven. And it's 19. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna be asking them for an upgrade. Hopefully I get it. But we are going to be vlogging, like he's going to vlog, hopefully he'll remember to take some clips for our vlog, um, but he's going <laughs> to yeah. vlog. We're I'll be do... taking so many clips, oh my god, I'll practically have like five GoPros rolling at the whole the whole time. Yeah, so we're going to do a back and forth type of vlog and I'll vlog while I'm here and that, you might actually see some behind the scenes of the nursery then because I'll probably be working on it a lot because I don't know what else I'll do. And You mean having a boring life back here? Don't make me feel worse about it. I'm really oh, bummed that I can't go, guys. Oh, Just no. I'm gonna take her on a special trip uh, after we have the baby, though, and we're gonna go and stay at the nicest resort there, and it's gonna be really great, so. Yeah, so uh, I will be here, but it's okay. Um, All right, anyways, let's go get in the water. I'm tired of hanging around. Uh, <laughs> let's go. So as you guys can see from that last clip I just took a shape, the water is not very clear today. <laughs> hey, give me that. I was going to take a video of it. He was slithering around so I tried to spook him so he'd keep swimming and he was just like, nah, I'm not going to move.
I could totally hear you like, oh, Shane. I know, I wasn't wanting you to hear me, so I was like, yeah. Woo! You saved me. I was about to go on the cave. There's another one right there. Oh, there's a lot. Oh my goodness, what is going on? That was scary. Oh, they're still doing it right there. I know, they're they're like thrashing around. I don't know if they're playing, fighting, mating. They're swimming so fast. It's crazy. They're right over there. They keep coming, they're right at the surface too, and a lot of the times when we see monk seals, they're like at the bottom. So yeah, there's three and they're like giant. And they're just right over there. The water's too murky to see them. Yeah, but... I thought it was four. And then, oh, maybe there's four. Big thing about monk seals, they're critically endangered, so we're absolutely not going to follow them. No way. Uh, Plus, they're low key so scary. Yeah, so... like when they were coming near us, I like she grabbed I my, put hand. my hand out to Brittany, like so that I could be touching her because I can't, you, you don't have your peripheral when you have a mask on. So I'm like touching her the whole time so I can look around and make sure they're not like coming up behind us or something. They swim. Shane wasn't recording because he had the GoPro at first. And they, it was like this. I, I was reporting. I had this oh. one going. Well, it was this big splash on the top of the surface, and I look under, and this giant monk seal so close, it was like swimming right at the surface really fast. Yeah, he's like a whale. Yeah, they're acting like whales. They're like, like just hanging out at the surface, and then like, <laughs> like, like so loud breathing. So I don't really know what's happening today, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's cool footage for the vlog, I guess. Okay guys, so something crazy just happened. I just had to go sicko mode on some guy. He told Brittany to shut up. Are you kidding me? When she was trying to tell him the right thing to do. So I thought I was about to fight someone out here. Literally. You took off swimming so fast. Yeah, I went off hot. So you'll see the clip coming up. I'll have Brittany cut this in before all the crazy stuff happened. Um, and then we'll talk, to you guys in the car. And we'll talk more in the car. I just wanted to give you a quick update about what's about to go down because we didn't get every angle, but some people You didn't just fucking say that. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Go 
Don't fucking tell her to shut up when she's telling you the right thing to do. This is your tour, right? My friend. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, there's no fucking way. Yeah, good. Get the fuck out, bro. Hey, just so you guys know, it's illegal to approach dolphins within 50 yards. Thank you. Yeah, you should know better than to guide you guys to do something illegal. I said shut up to you. Oh. You're being polite. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We have so much to say. Drama! So, you're going to want to watch this part of the video. You can click off now if you just wanted to see us dive. But this is where all the juicy drama. Yeah. We're going to recap it. There's a lot that happened in this dive. We have a lot to go over. So first, and we're going to start in order. Think when we got in the water that nothing would happen yeah like, we when, had no expectations it was like let's just go cruise around and get wet that was that was the entire plan yeah didn't bring the camera uh mostly we needed to go to costco and costco's on the way home from diving <laughs> so uh anyways first we saw the monk sails which we talked about in the water but in case those clips were really bad and i have to cut a lot of it out or the audio is bad or whatever they were like three or four massive monk seals. And first one just came over and like looked at us and it was cool and it was, I was like, Shane, look. But then they started like either chasing each other or like Shane said, like maybe they were mating or fighting. We don't know, but they were like splashing at the surface and then going right underneath the surface and like zooming right past us. And like- So fast. Going, yeah, they swim, they monk seals swim so fast and they look right at you and they're big. So they're yeah. kind of, and like I know that they have- like pounds. They have big teeth. And yeah. They're also endangered, so I'm also like, okay, don't get too close to me. I, we weren't moving at all. We were in one spot, like, because I didn't even want to move because they were coming from all directions. Yeah. Shane had to, like, grab me and pull me close, so that was really cool. And that would have been just a cool thing if just that one thing happened in this vlog. <laughs> that, that would have been cool and happy. Uh, yeah, I was happy after that. I was like, that, that's cool. Um, anything else you want to say about it? No. The, oh, and yeah, just if you ever see one in the wild, like on shore, underwater, don't approach them. Like either sit still or go away from them to give them space. Like on the beach, they can look like a rock. So you could literally stumble into one. So just give them lots of space because uh, yeah. they're critically endangered and they're such a beautiful creature and it's great to be able to see them. And we'll keep on getting to see more of them if we protect them. Yeah. They're Hawaiian monk seals in case we didn't say that. Yeah. Okay, and then we we're gonna go swim over to the area we always swim over to. So we're swimming over there and Shane's like, you hear that whistling? And I'm like, yeah, and he's like one of those stupid tours where they have scooters. <laughs> and then it was, usually they, they have scooters in their scuba, but no, this tour, this is a new thing at this spot we've been coming to. People have been taking out like tour groups, like, like from the beach that are not scuba. So they're not getting like certified. They're just like snorkeling tour groups. I don't know, they never used to do that yeah. here. And so I think it's because they added lifeguards to the spot. But anyways, so it, they were wearing life jackets and they had the scooters. So they didn't have to float themselves. And they didn't have to even swim. So I was like, bruh. And there is. Like part of the reason I like to go snorkeling and diving is because it's good exercise. Yeah. So, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll like spoil some of the videos that I'm going to make. Um, it looks like if they had snorkeling in the movie WALL-E, that's how the people would snorkel. You know how they're on their little floating beds and they just float around the space station? Yeah, their heads are all like, they can't, they're not even like looking in the water because the life jackets are hard, like the kind that they're wearing are hard to like snorkel with. Yeah. So anyways, Shane was like, I just want to get a clip of them for a video. So he's like trying to follow them. The current was pretty strong today, so I was like a little bit slower. And then he finally gets over there and he gets a clip, but he was like swimming all around and I like couldn't really find him in between all the people and whatever and then we found each other and then they're gonna go leave and the one tour guide was brazilian so less scary for me to say like if he was a real local hawaiian guy i don't know if i would have said this but uh he was brazilian you can tell by his accent and he's like oh yeah you want to take him over to the monk seals now which we just talked about monk seals are so endangered and they're like low-key kind of scary 
and we go in the ocean all the time, you know, and we're yeah, kind of so, scared of them. So, like, if Brittany and I knew that there was all the monk seal action at that spot, we wouldn't go over there on purpose. We were just swimming. Yeah, like, we were we just didn't swimming. didn't expect so, that to happen. So, for someone to be, like, guiding a tour and they're like, oh, we And they know. can barely swim, the people yeah. in the tour. Uh, oh, we know that monk seals are over here. Let's go over there and, like, hope that one will swim up to us so that it's not technically illegal. Like, I feel like that's I think that's we didn't explain illegal. that well. So he says to the guy, we're yeah. gonna go, let's take them over to the monk seals. And he's like, okay guys, we're gonna go over here. Everyone follow blah, blah, blah. And if you go dive at this spot all the time, monk seals do hang out in one certain area a lot. So like, it's not like, so like if they've been taking a tour here every single day, they would know where exactly where the monk seals are hanging out. Yeah. And so, uh, and they pointed to exactly where we came from. So I'm like, hey, you said you're going into some roads to the monk seals, like, and Shane was like, I should have recorded this. I didn't know you are really going to go in on him. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, well, we're just going to go over there. I'm like, yeah, but you know, that's totally illegal to go approach the monk seals. That's like, they're endangered. That's illegal. And he's like, oh, we're not going to see the monk seals. I was like, I literally just heard you say that you're going to <laughs> swim with the monk seals. And then he's like, well, we're just going to go over there. And then I'm like, okay, but you know that that is so illegal what you're doing. And he just like fully brushed me off. And Shane said he got a clip of him like so close to the turtle, like a, yeah. a turtle, <laughs> like, which turtles are also endangered. Into the turtle. And you're not supposed to approach turtles either or touch them, it's illegal. And it actually damages whatever. So they bumped into a turtle already. And with the scooters, it's hard to control like when you can stop, go and with the current and stuff. And plus they're not experienced in the ocean. And so I'm like, bro, you can't take them over there. Like, we already got a video of you, like, doing illegal stuff with the turtle. And he's like, it's fine. We're permitted. I'm like, that doesn't mean you can approach sea life just because you have a permit to take people snorkeling. Like, uh, at least they have a permit. Yeah, but that doesn't mean <sighs> it's still illegal to approach monk seals if they have a freaking... Yeah. And he could just be that, saying that. That's, so they could be saying that. And that's also the type of uh, behavior that would get your permit revoked. Like, if... If like DLNR found out that you were out, yeah. So what we could have done tours. is followed them and taken videos of them and reported them to DLNR. But like, we don't know if DLNR actually does anything. They, I think with monk seals, they're pr like I would say that that that's the most. That's the wildlife that they're the most like strict about. Right, I would say, right? Like so, when everyone's on the beach, they will close the whole beach. Like if yeah, it's that's a, true. if there's a baby, like they'll close like really the whole beach. Like. Um, they're, I feel like they're the most strict about monk seals, to be honest. Yeah, so I, I might contact DLNR about that and see if they have any thought about it. Because the thing is, if they are actually permitted, it'd be really easy to find them because they're the only snorkel tour that offers... Whee! Yeah, and also another thing, those scooters make that noise, literally sounds just like that. Yeah. And there was probably like seven or eight people in the tour and uh so it's, a, a, lot it's a lot of, of noise. noise and i know it would mess with dolphins i know dolphins would not like it because of they they use the echolocation yeah and so when i worked on a boat the, the captains would say if there's a submarine out that day there'd be like no wildlife because they don't like the interference yeah um so i don't know how it affects like sea turtles or monk seals or fish or anything but yeah so that was annoying let that that happened and i was like pretty frustrated that he was just like, he like totally dismissed me. Like I was saying nothing and I wasn't rude. I just said it and Shane was like, dang, I should have recorded that. But at least he dismissed you politely instead of like our next guy who told Brittany to shut up. <laughs> just like that. He said, oh, shut up. I, was I like, didn't hear him. I wish I did. <laughs> do you think that's your mom? Like, do you think that this is like. <laughs> okay, wait, we were getting ahead of ourselves. So then another tour group approaches the area that we were at because where we were was like where you can see turtles really easily. So another tour group approaches and like I'm telling you, I've never seen the snorkel tour groups at the South Forest. It's so new and they also have life jackets on, but they don't have the little scooters. And the guy's like, hey guys, there's a turtle over here. And I'm like, oh great, another group looking at yeah, turtles. And I, I started taking videos just because they look stupid. And so I was going to take a video of them and also make fun of them. I forget what my idea was for this tour group, but it was like, uh, oh, is this guy that could, his girlfriend could swim better than him? And I was going to like make a video like, I'll teach you how to swim better so you don't have to look like this guy when you go on vacation with your girlfriend. Um, okay, anyways. Yeah. Sorry. So then I see dolphins pretty close to us and I'm like trying to obviously not tell the tour group but Shane's right next to him so I'm like Shane like, and then he like looks I kind of knew when she said that I kind of knew and then because I really want them to swim up to me and see because everyone says when you're pregnant dolphins are so interested in you so yeah. I like really wanted to like 
see if they would swim up to me. But then got ruined because the guy teaching the tour also saw them at the exact same time that I did. And he was like, oh guys, there's dolphins over here. And then they all start to go to swim. And I was like, I couldn't control myself. Like immediately I was like, hey, and I had to yell because he, I was further away from him. I was like, hey, you cannot approach dolphins. Like it's illegal. Cause he was just gonna swim, ch take these tour people with life jackets on that can't even swim over to them. It's like so bad. And so like, it's already illegal. And everyone that lives here is already like, ruined for us because we post anything with dolphins you're immediately like you were chasing them even if they came up to you and it's just like a whole thing and we don't get to see the dolphins anymore i love the dolphins so plus it, it does it disturbs them so it's so annoying when someone's taking the tour out and like even if it was i didn't even know at that point if he was a tour i was just like bro you cannot chase the dolphins because he was all like hyper like he was like oh like and i <laughs> he was like i'm about to get a good tip today yeah and I just said, like, hey, you cannot approach the dolphins. Like, you cannot chase after the dolphins. And then I guess it all happened so quickly. Shane has it all on video, so I guess you guys saw it. Yeah, so when he was like, oh, shut up. I was like... I don't like, know if you'll hear that because I didn't hear him say that. You can't... Because you can't... You can, you can, like, just ignore someone that's bothering you. I thought you. he did just ignore you. That's why you got mad. And, like, you can, you can say, like, like, mind your own business. But you can't tell someone that's telling you the right thing to do to shut up. Like to me, that was just so wrong. And it was like, if I saw him say that to anyone, I would have, I felt like I would have reacted the same, but it was like even worse that he's saying it to like my pregnant girlfriend. <laughs> and, and I'm not that mean when I say something yeah, in the water. Yeah. Shane is a lot more mean. He's like, me and, like and I and usually, scary. I usually like lately have just been like, I'm not going to say anything anymore. Like I'll let Brittany take care of it. Cause she can say it better and doesn't say it in such a, a like, and I worked on a tour boat, so I way. know actually all the rules. Like, the way that I say it is, like, we're about to fight. Like, say one more yeah. thing to me and we're going to fight. <laughs> That's what he sounds and like. And so then, but then when someone says shut up to Brittany, I'm like, He took off swimming so fast. I was like, what just happened? So I, like, sprint over to the guy and I'm like, hey, come here, come here. Like, like, apologize to her. Like, don't say that. Like, don't, uh, you guys heard what I said, but I was, I was like, don't tell someone to shut up when they're telling you the right thing to do. And... He was just like, he was just like, fuck off. Like, mind it, like, go away, man. Like, let me do my thing. And I was, I was like, you're taking these people on a tour and doing something illegal. And he's like, that's not a tour. These are my friends. And like, they all had life jackets on and this guy did not. And he was like telling them. And that's like the dead giveaway. He like, did not have a permit, this guy. Like, I've taken friends out that can't swim. I put them on a surfboard. Like that's like the normal way to do it if you're taking your friends out and they can't swim. Like nobody has just six life vests for snorkeling with their friends. Cause if you can swim well, you just don't have friends that can't swim. Like that's just kind of the way it is. And I've had like very few friends that can't swim well. It doesn't matter. Okay. And so while he was doing that, you obviously didn't see this part because I didn't have the camera. Yeah. The, all his tour people didn't follow him. He like took off. Like this guy took off after he told me to shut up. Shane had to chase him down. He left his tour group in the dust. Like they didn't follow him because they probably couldn't swim that fast. And they were probably like, what is happening? I was about to block him. If he, tr if he tried to swim to the dolphins, I was going to get in, the, his, in his way. Uh... And so all while that's happening, I'm like telling the people the actual law. I'm like, it is illegal to approach dolphins within 50 yards. You kids cannot chase the dolphins. Like, is it 50 if, feet or 50 yards? 50 I'm yards. Up today. 50 okay. yards. I was like, you, if like we're in the ocean and you see dolphins, you cannot move. You have to stay where you are. Like it's illegal to approach them at all anymore. Like you cannot approach the dolphins. Plus they can swim way faster than you guys. Like you're not going to be able to catch them. They're way out there already. Like. You just you gotta chill you see the dolphins you gotta stay in one spot and just be chill like you cannot do this it's illegal yeah. and then by that time shane was coming back over and they... yeah so that's after i had my gentleman's discussion with him which was him swimming away from me while it's i just, was trying to get close enough to grab it's him. just like so really frustrating <laughs> people that act like that and then we'll get hate on our videos all the time oh, yeah. okay i wanted to say this Oh, yeah. um, um, to finish that we're harassing wildlife that we're exploiting the ocean and <laughs> it's just so insane to me because there's people like that out there that like don't care at all and like <sighs> it's just so insane to me that people think that we're the bad guys because we're not yeah not. so so local people to me like whenever anyone someone so someone will find something that i've done that upsets them and then they post it 
And then other people will be commenting, oh yeah, I've seen that guy giving tours. Oh yeah, that guy takes people on dolphin tours. And I don't do that. <laughs> I would never do that. And then people like that guy are the ones that do. And then I get and accused And then he goes, <laughs> man, let me just do what I want to do. Leave me alone. Like, are you kidding me? Let you do what you want to do and harass dolphins? Like, I like dolphins way better than I like humans. Why would I let you do that? Yeah. So, yeah, that was really upsetting and frustrating in multiple ways. And, like, like we can admit, like, we want to swim with the dolphins, too. Like, we want them to have the interaction with Brittany. But we want to do it the right way. Like, we want it to be, like, we're just out there and they came up to us. Like how the monk seals. Like how the monk seals did. And it's so much cooler that way. It's, yeah. like, so fun and cool. And, like. What if the monk seals were, like, hey, this lady's pregnant. What's I going on with that? I was thinking that, too. And, I kind of doubt it. But. And then, like. <laughs> So like, for example, I know this clip is so long guys, I'm sorry, but I feel really passionate about this topic. Um, when we went to Tahiti last year, we really wanted to get like epic encounters with humpback whales and it just didn't really happen for us. Like we saw them and we got a cool encounter, but it wasn't nothing really epic. Like what we see our friends post on Instagram, but we have friends go to Tahiti for three, four, five, six months at a time. And they're out on the water every single day on boats. And they obviously have bad days too. They have bad weeks. They have probably bad months where they don't see much. So like you have to pay your dues to the ocean. You can't just like go on vacation one time and expect to go snorkeling and get the most epic experience and see turtles and have clear water and see dolphins and you're gonna ride us like you're gonna do all this crazy stuff and you're gonna check off all your bucket list items in one dive like that's not how it works you need to like be happy and thankful for what you do see and like like just it's just so frustrating when tourists come here like entitled and being like well, I'm here and I paid for this tour and I'm trying to see a freaking turtle. Like, I'm trying to do this. Like, I paid for it. Like, yeah, we go places too and we pay for a whale tour and like, no one can control the ocean and it's so much cooler and it makes it so much more magical when something happens that's like, I can't believe that just happened because what are the chances we're in this big massive ocean that's like so unexplored and this out of all the places I could be and all the places this monk still could be we are right in the same place at the same time so it's so much cooler when it happens naturally and magically like that and not you going and chasing them and being like I need to see it I'm gonna so as hard as I can and like that you know what I mean it's that's just, awesome that's it that's it right there guys that's the <laughs> that's why we make videos about the ocean is because we'd be out there doing it all the time and then having that experience is just the best yeah so it's like we have been diving a million times where nothing exciting happens and it's just like <laughs> and that's like what we expect like like and we then plan literal, on coming out here and seeing nothing so then when anything happens like wow that was so cool yeah like the day that we saw the like the neon purple jellyfish out here that was a magical day that oh, like yeah. i'm never gonna forget you know like <laughs> you said purple i was thinking about the thing that leaked the purple yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like you can't expect to go somewhere for one week out of the entire year out of the entire five years that someone else has lived there out of the entire life if someone has lived in a place and expect to get these magical experiences so like chasing it and like forcing something that's not meant to happen is like not a cool vibe so I just feel like people should just not have such high expectations and not like have such high standards of everything and just like go out and see what you see and then be like grateful for what you did see yeah and the exercise yeah <laughs> and, don't and like i still have never seen a tiger shark and i live here and i have friends that work on the tiger shark boats that see probably like five tiger sharks a day when it's tiger <laughs> season and i've never even seen one so Loser. like <laughs> <laughs> okay we're done ranting now yeah, thank you I hope guys, you guys for enjoyed watching. this video i think i think they're gonna like this i feel like they're gonna enjoy the the real raw and also Brittany sharing her yeah, this emotional is like the most, passion for the ocean. If you guys are ever interested in our lives and you're not subscribed to our channel, like this is how you're gonna find out stuff. Like when we sit here and do these stupid card chats with you guys, this is like the most information I'm giving out to the world. Like I don't post like this on my Instagram story. I'm not gonna make an 18 minute clip post on my Instagram story. Like you're not gonna know me as well. Like you'll see my cool pictures on Instagram, but this is how you get to know us and like really see how we are, I yeah. guess. Okay, so smash like if you like this video, hit subscribe if you wanna see more, and we'll be talking in the car next time something crazy and dramatic happens or when we're just introducing the next video. And that's, that's all the stuff we saw, bye. bye.